Now moving ahead, I would like to invite Shri Avinash Lavanya ji, MD, MP, Power Management Company Limited, to deliver welcome address. Shri Pradhan Singh Tomar ji, Honorable Energy Minister, Government of Madhya Pradesh, respected Neeraj Mandloi sir, ACS Energy, Government of Madhya Pradesh, respected Sudeep Jain ji, Edition Secretary, Government of India, my colleagues, delegates, and ladies and gentlemen, uh, I feel uh, honored to welcome you all to this fourth uh, sustainability conference on energy. And uh, it's a pleasure that we have with us Sri Tomarji, who has been instrumental in driving Madhya Pradesh towards uh, the resource adequacy as well as sustainability in the energy sector. I must say, sir has been extremely sensitive, not only to the needs of uh, the uh, people who are working for the department, but also the citizens of this country. He's a minister who himself ensures that all the complaints that uh, people are filing are looked after. Sometimes he himself talks to them and ensures that each of it uh, goes to its logical conclusion. He has been the driving force for the new uh, organizational structure for the department as well. We also have with us Sri Neeraj Mandloiji, who has been aggressively driving the department towards um, an accelerated growth in the energy sector. He is not only ensuring that whatever we need as per our resource adequacy is ensured, but he is also ensuring that we are on a sustainable path that takes us forward strongly. We also have with us Sri Sudeep Jainji, whose role in policy formulation is what is putting India on the accelerated path to, for the renewable uh, resources of energy. See, one thing that I must say here is that sustainability is no more a moral principle. We must understand that we are in a stage where a lot of startups, a lot of companies are actually working not only in the energy sector, but in all sectors to find out which initiatives, which companies, which processes are sustainable. And a lot of investors today are making their investments based on these sustainability rankings for most of the companies. Why? Because the world has come to realize that sustainability, other than the fact that uh, we must care about our future generations, but sustainability is also an economic concept. It also makes sense economically. So a lot of investments are today being driven by sustainability. So uh, that is the first feature that sustainability has to offer. The other feature, for particularly in the energy sector, which is very, very fortunate, is that sustainability is coming with equitable distribution of resources. So with the concepts like uh, Anna Data Se Urja Data, the way the solar is spreading, the way we are talking about rooftop solar, we are somewhere ensuring that the benefits of uh, energy sector are distributed more equitably uh, the more we move towards the sustainability aspect of it. So that is a win-win in the second aspect as well. I must uh, tell you that the commitment of uh, Madhya Pradesh government, energy department, as well as PMCL is uh, uh, unperturbed as far as sustainability is concerned. If we talk about our uh, tied up renewable energy capacities, so where we stood at only 3% in 2012, today we stand at 31% of contracted renewable capacity. At the same time, Currently, under the, uh, the leadership of our minister, sir, and our ACS, sir, we are continuously and aggressively tying up more and more renewable energy capacity. We are talking about battery storages. We are talking about more wind, more solar capacities to ensure that we place Madhya Pradesh on that trajectory. With that, once again, I welcome you all to this conference. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for your welcome speech.